Hey guys, this is Ghosted Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, so today we're going to be looking at Nice Hash versus Nano Pool. We're going to see which one we can actually make the most profit off of. Again, the reason why we're doing this type of video is because a lot of people do like starting off with Nice Hash because it's kind of like a click and play type of miner. Where Nano Pool, you have to put some more elbow grease in to actually get it to work properly. So we're going to look at that, guys. We're going to be using my three card GTX 1060 six gig uh, cards because they're pretty much what most miners start off with. They're super affordable um, and they're easy to put together. So we're going to be using this little rig to figure out which one y'all should be uh, using, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So guys, so this is Nanopool right here off this three card rig. And so far I've been running it for about three days and I've been averaging 972 solutions a second. And this is the way this, is the way this uh, rig is set up. Um, I have two super, super clocked editions, uh, the 1060s from EVGA. Then the one in the middle is the four, the win edition. And we're running off of two version nine PCIe risers and one version six PCIe riser. Just because I thought those were the PCI nines, or the uh, version nines. Um, we're using a hard drive a Pentium Intel Core processor, two sticks of four gig gram, and a Asus Z170E uh, motherboard, which holds up to seven cards if you use the M.2 adapter to PCIe. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, again, so this is NiceHash running on this computer right here. So I can, I mean, sorry, <laughs> this is Nanopool running on this uh, miner right here. And afterwards, we're going to go ahead and look at how much you're making uh, with Crypto Compare per day. And then we're going to compare it to NiceHash because it kind of gives you a little more easy read out of that. So let's go ahead and get downloading. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and get to downloading that NiceHash miner to this uh, mining room. Okay, guys. So I've been running uh, NiceHash miner version 2.011, the beta. And uh, so far, I made two dollars and fifty-three cents, um, which is okay, I guess, on today's market since it's such a low market. I think today Zcash actually hit an all-time low uh, for this year, 2018, of two hundred and ten dollars. So it's been kind of low. So even mining Zcash, um, you know, I don't know if you're gonna make as much as this miner so right here mining with a uh, nice hash i guess the benefit is nice hash does all the work for you it picks up different type of pools and different type of uh cryptocurrency so you can see the uh the dagger hashimoto right here is what it's mining at with all the cards um so i guess nice hash is doing a little better but there's some downfalls to nice hash guys uh, and we're going to compare NiceHash versus uh, Nanopool, but so far NiceHash is pulling $2.53 and I actually had this miner running for 6 hours just to make sure it's um, it's accurate. And the reason why there's $3 right here for balance payout is because I used to use NiceHash before it actually got hacked and I lost a little bit of crypto when it did get hacked and they're reimbursing people. I got reimbursed because I didn't even know, but I got reimbursed 20%. Of what they owed me which is kind of cool but the bad downfall about nano pool i mean a nice hash is it only pays you out when you hit 0 0.01 bitcoin um so that's all you can get paid out is btc which is bitcoin again one let's i don't even know how much that is that's a lot of money so it will take a long time to hit 0 0.1 um bitcoin uh, so we'll go back into that and see how much that is uh, right now on top of my head i don't know but i'm pretty sure that's at least a couple hundred dollars so it would take me forever to reach that point and you never know with a uh, nano with nice hash you had to keep it on their wallet to get the lowest fees um if you use their wallet i think it's a two percent mining fee and that's all and then you can actually transfer it to coinbase which is a zero percent transfer rate so i was looking into that that's, that's pretty new but it has to be over 0.01 bitcoin to actually transfer over and we'll look into that rate right now once we get to it to see how much that is in usd um so we're gonna go ahead and compare it to uh nanopool which i use 
the uh, I think it's a Claymore Miner. We'll go look into that also in a little bit. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out and compare and see if we're making if we're gonna make more than two dollars and forty seven cents on Nano Pole. So I have a crypto compare pulled up. On today's market, Crypto Compare is showing that Zcash is worth $215.88 a coin. And like I was saying before in the beginning of the video, um, I was mining a, a nano on Nanopole for three days. And my average solution a second was 973 uh, souls a second with a 2% mining fee because I'm using the EWBF miner on Nanopole. So it's 2% mining fee. And we're picking up $2.36. Which is actually kind of shocking uh, because with um, nice hash i was actually making about 11 cents more a day so let's check out the pros and cons of both miners and let's see who's actually the winner of this um, little contest so here's nice hash i made a little um little document so we can see the benefits of it so yes uh, nice hash is a free uh software to use and also comes with a pretty cool app you can actually visualize what you're making with that app it's kind of cool i like it it adds a different feel for it and again like i was saying in the beginning it's very easy if you're just getting into mining it's a very easy plug and play and then you just click it and it starts on its own very easy to use there's step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use it all over the place uh, high profitability i do like this part um it auto selects the best algorithm for your gpu or pcu or p uh cpu sorry um so that's kind of cool so again if you're a new miner I like to use this to kind of figure out what coin is the best to mine and what coin I can make the most money off of, especially if you're getting into this. Um, my favorite coin is Zcash, that's just me. I actually believe in the blockchain, I believe in uh, Bitcoin, but I do believe in uh, Zcash as a coin that's going to be a big player in the future because of what it's for. You know, it's an awesome coin, the white paper is perfect on Zcash, I'm really into Zcash, but that's just me. So um, the bad thing about, um, so the bad thing. So the bad thing about this, guys, is um, when you're looking into it, you're actually mining different coins, but they pay you out of Bitcoin, so you can never hold on to those other coins. So it's kind of lame, um, but that's just a nice hash for you. So it automatically pays you out, uh, which is pretty cool, at 0.001 Bitcoin, which today's market is about $7.50 in USD. So if you're making $2.47 a day, you'll get paid out every three days which is not too bad. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, again, it's a simple uh, inter interface, so it's easy to use one click. So for you new miners out there, it's something y'all can think about just to get your uh, toes wet. And then also online, you can watch your stats. With Nanopool, you can do the same thing. So again, that's that's pretty cool. Nanopool is kind of the same way. And then there's additional settings you can use to configure your uh, miner uh, with NiceHash. Um, here's a downfall of NiceHash. So if you see right here, payout for balance is less than 0.1 to external wallets, which a lot of people use hardware wallets, or actually have to pay a 5% fee. So that's a high fee, guys, especially for a point uh, one. That's, I think, $956, if I'm not mistaken. That's a very high, high amount. If 5% of $965 is a lot of money. So yeah, if you're you know more advanced, if you want to exchange something less than that to an external wallet, um, especially a hardware wallet that's kind of sketchy you know they really want you to use their wallet they have for you and like i said back in december they got hacked i lost a lot of money and they're just now paying people back will they pay you back completely i don't know they pay me back 20 percent um it's, it's sketchy guys that's a, that's the scary part so that's a big downfall if you look at nanopool you can use whatever wallet you want with no additional fees so this is kind of crazy um payoff for balance is greater than or equal to 0.1 bitcoin to external wallet again is going to be three percent so if you have more and then you want to exchange it or turn it into a new wallet it's only three percent which is eh, it's still kind of high and payoffs for balance is greater than or equal to 0.001 bitcoin to nice hash wallet it's only two percent so they really want you to use their wallet uh you can see the difference in fees which is not too bad. Again, this is $7. This is a lot more than $7. So they really want you to use their wallet. So again, guys, it's up to you. But like I said, it's it's really what you want to mine. I like Zcash, so I like using Nanopool. But again, you're making about 11 cents more using um, NiceHash. So here's withdrawal fees from NiceHash wallet. This is 
super new guys. I I dig this. They might win me back. I might use my three card mining rig for about maybe a month to really check out the differences between Nanopool and Nice Hash because Nice Hash is trying to win people back. So for any BC uh, for any Bitcoin wallet uh, from 00, uh, 0 0.002 minimum to a 0 0.05 Bitcoin, there's a a small fee of 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is very small. So that's pretty cool. So you can withdraw it with a real small fee. But again, if it's greater than that amount, there's going to be a 0.2% um, withdrawal amount. So that's going to be of your total amount you're withdrawing. They're going to take that much away. Which again, it's not too bad. But hey guys, look at this. I'm a Coinbase user because I'm in the US. I love Coinbase. Um, I use GDAX too, which are affiliated with each other, kind of the same wallet or as same uh, interface. So Coinbase, if you exchange more than 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is seven dollars, there's no fee. Oh my goodness, guys! Hey, nice ass, you might win me back with that free no fee to actually transfer coins. That's not bad, guys. I like that. Um, so here's my uh, summarization. Six hours of mining made me two dollars and forty-seven cents, eleven cents more than Nanopool. Not bad, but again, I didn't get to exchange any of those coins into a new wallet because the minimum uh, ex uh, payout fee is seven dollars and fifty cents. So I might run it a little bit longer, but again, I'm not too sure, guys. I might have to do this for about a month to make sure these are true. But as of right now, it looks like Nice Ash is winning. Uh, a week, it makes me $17.29. Not too shabby, Nice Ash. A month, $69.16. And a year, $826.92. So you're seeing some good, good payout there, guys. Again, all you're getting paid out is in Bitcoin. So I, you know, Bitcoin is a big player, so I'm okay with getting paid out in Bitcoin. So let's go to Nanopool. So for Nanopool, I'm using actually the EWBF miner, and that's for Zcash. Um, so here's the pool settings I that I saw today. Is the fee is 2%, pay out several times a day. This is the cool portion about it. Um, so you get paid out every time you make 0 0.01 Zcash, which is about $3. So you get paid out for my miner about two times a day to three times a day. So that's kind of cool, you get the money to your uh, whatever wallet you want. If you want an external wallet, you can get that. If you want a, another type of wallet like Cryptonator, you can use that too. Um, again, it's really up to what you're trying to do. If you're holding the coin long term, you can use that hardware wallet. If you're just doing this for money it's on the side, you know, let's say you're trying to pay some, I don't know, let's say a GPU bill. <laughs> so you can actually uh, send that to your um, your Cryptonator and then send that to Bit. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, you can set that to Coinbase and make that into money real fast. So that's a cool thing. You get money fast. Um, here's some other stats on that. The best thing about this, guys, is you can use any type of wallet that has a Zcash wallet. And you can get paid out directly with no additional fees. So you're just seeing that 2% fee. Um, so here's a summarization on this. For three days of mining, made me $2.43. Um, it actually went down a little bit since I was running that. So uh, I think it was like, let's pull up this real fast. Um, it was actually, yeah, two dollars and thirty-six cents because you know right now the market going up and down, so thirty-six cents. So these are going to be a little different. So I'll just leave it like that because I did this a little earlier when Bitcoin uh, Zcash was a little higher. But let's go ahead and look at this as the settings right here. So as you can see, there's only a thirteen dollar difference in a year. Um, so it's really up to what y'all guys want to look at. But if you're looking at the hard facts. Nice hash still came on top. I might need to run it a little bit longer, but for this one day um, competition, looking at Nanopole versus Nice Ash, Nice Ash came on top. So again, guys, uh, I'm gonna run this a little longer, but as of today, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day 2018, Nice Hash is uh, the winner of this little competition. It beat Nanopool, which is shocking. So what I'm gonna do for y'all guys, since I like my viewers so much, I'm gonna run Nice Hash for one month straight on three cards and run Nanopole, the EWBF, um, the EW, sorry, EWFB for one month and i'm going to compare them because i have two mining rigs so i'm going to compare them and i'm going to see who comes off on top as the top dog but as of today guys nice hash won this competition
Gang guys, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Leave your comments below if you have any additional comments. Let's say if you run Nice Hash and you get better um, uh, profitability on Nice Hash than I do with uh, 1060 G, uh, 6 gig, let me know. Or if you think Nanopole is the best because of whatnot, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always here to try new things. Awesome guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all soon. I'm out. Goodbye.